Hello everyone. Welcome back to Raisha's World. I have come with a special recipe today. Kerala style fish biryani. This is very tasty and easy to make. It's a must try dish as you'll get a restaurant style taste and perfection. If you haven't subscribed my channel, then please do subscribe and hit the bell icon. Now let's see how it is done. I am using king fish to prepare this biryani. You can use any type of fish of your choice. 10 pieces of king fish I have taken that is approximately 1 kg. First we are going to apply masala and then fry it. To prepare the masala, we need 1 tablespoon of chili powder, 1 tablespoon of turmeric powder, 1/2 tablespoon of pepper powder, 1/2 tablespoon of fennel seed powder. and salt as required you can even add ginger garlic paste or lemon juice i am not adding it here then just add water to mix into a thick paste This is the consistency for the masala. It should be thick enough so that the masala will be absorbed properly by the fish. Masala is ready. Now let's coat the fish with this masala and fry it. When you're preparing normal fish fry too, you can use this masala because it is very tasty. and easy to prepare you can use coconut oil to fry the fish because it will add more taste to your biryani and fry if you don't like coconut oil you can use uh, normal oil Now let's fry the fish. Fry for 4 to 5 minutes each side on medium high flame. Fish fry is ready. Let's keep this aside for using later. Let's prepare the masala for the biryani. I have taken four medium sized onion, sliced like this. Now let's add this into the oil which I have used to fry the fish. Saute this for about four to five minutes until the onions turn transparent. This biryani is easy to make and very tasty as we get from restaurants. So please do try it home and share how it turned out for you because kids and everyone will love this biryani. So please do share how it turned out. So if you're watching my channel for the first time, then please do subscribe to get my future videos.
onions have turned transparent. Now to this we'll add 1 tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. Equal quantity of ginger and garlic have taken and ground to a fine paste. Always it is good to prepare fresh ginger garlic paste because it will add a nice taste to your biryani. Until the raw smell goes off and then add 2 medium sized tomatoes roughly chopped. Sort until the tomatoes turn mushy and it is mixed well. Then add salt as required. Salt. Always it is better to check the taste and then add the salt as required. Add handful of mint leaves. Handful of coriander leaves. After mixing, we'll add half tablespoon of turmeric powder, half tablespoon of chili powder, half tablespoon of coriander powder, quarter tablespoon of garam masala. At last, add half tablespoon of lemon juice and mix it up well. I'm using here freshly prepared garam masala. Because it will add a nice flavor to your rice. Masala is ready. Now let's keep this aside for using later. To a pan add 2 tablespoon of ghee. When the ghee starts melting, add 10 to 15 numbers of cashew nuts into it. And sort this until the cashews turn golden brown. Now let's transfer this to a plate. I have taken one onion, finely sliced like this. Now let's add this and sort it until it turns golden brown. This fried onions and cashews I am using for garnishing at the last. At this stage we will transfer it to a plate and keep it aside. To the same pan add 2 tablespoon of oil. When the oil is hot add 2 cinnamons, 2 cloves, 2 cardamoms, 1 bay leaf, And sort this for about a minute. Add one onion finely chopped and sort this about for a minute. Two cups of basmati rice I have taken, washed and soaked for about half an hour. Now let's add this. Let's fry this for about 5 minutes. We are frying this rice so that it will not be sticky. After frying the rice, add 4 cups of hot water into it. I have taken 2 cups of rice so I am adding 4 cups of water. That is the double times water we are adding. Now we will mix this well. I have kept it in a high flame 
till the water completely drains off keep it in a high flame add salt as required and give it a quick mix close the lid and cook for about 10 minutes now our rice is cooked well we'll just mix it and transfer it to a bowl Now let's do the layering for biryani. First we are going to add half the masala and spread it evenly. On top of this we'll add half the rice and spread it evenly throughout. then garnish it with a few fresh mint leaves add a pinch of fennel seed powder add 5 pieces of fried fish on top of this then add the balanced masala on top of the fish and spread it throughout evenly Then we'll add the balanced rice on top of this. Again garnish it with some fresh mint leaves and fennel seed powder. Balance fish fry will place on top of this. and then we'll garnish it with some fried onions and fried cashews to set dum for biryani i'm closing with aluminum foil for 5 minutes in a low flame let's prepare the salad for biryani for that i've taken one onion finely sliced add 4 to 6 tablespoons of vinegar two green chilies finely chopped and salt to taste and mix it up well now our salad is ready it's been 5 minutes since i kept dum for biryani now let's open it now our tasty Restaurant style biryani is ready. So please do try at home and share how it turned out for you. This is a very very simple way to prepare. So try it at home. While serving make sure you do not over mix it because the fish pieces will get smashed.
you haven't subscribed my channel then subscribe and hit the bell icon to get my future notifications so enjoy cooking with raisha's world stay tuned until i meet you next time with a wonderful recipe until then bye bye